Okay, everybody. So we're in Maya 2019, and we're going to be creating a uh, a wall event screen, right? And we're going to kind of make it a little bit decorative. So we're going to start off with our wall, and uh, for that, we're going to take a polygon plane. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale that up a little bit, and let's go in. Hit Control A. Go in there, and let's set this to 20 by 20. So we have a little bit more uh, detail to play with. Hit E to rotate this and hold on J and flip it upright like so, right? Okay. So then we need to decide on kind of a cutout shape in our wall for our vent. So let's go in here and let's right click and face and let's just start to make a selection here. That's a good start. Then we're going to cut that out. And let's add some detail. So we're gonna select this area and this as well. And then we're gonna go in to edit mesh and poke face. Now by doing so, we now have a more opportunity to add some detail. So let's go into these corners here and get rid of these triangles. There you go. And you can go in and uh, do something like this if you like um, you know just go nuts with that depending on whatever your preference may be right but let's say that this is what we want okay so now what you can do next is you can go in and for example um, and what I'll do is I'll hold down my tab key to speed things up you can kind of paint in um, a number of uh, faces that you want for this and like I said, I don't really have a precise idea about what I want here. So I'm just kind of painting around and I'll go in here and kind of sort that in a second. First, I just want to see if this looks okay to me. Right. So then uh, with that selected, I'm going to uh, shift select a few to get rid of that. And let's see if this is the pattern that I want. So I got that one, I got that one. Try and keep it symmetrical, kind of important, I would say. And uh, yeah, I think that looks cool. Okay, we're gonna go with that. All right, so we have that. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna uh, control E to extrude. Let's do 0 0.2 on that, which kind of looks cool, yep. Yeah. And then we're going to go in here and we're going to right click at an edge and we're going to double click on that edge. And it seems that I'm going to have to do that manually, which is kind of a drag. But it is what it is, so we'll do that. All right, so I got my selection. So I'm gonna to go to Edit Mesh and Bevel, which will give us something like this. And that works for me. All right, cool. So now that we have that, uh, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start working on my actual screen, right? Now for that, we are going to take a, a polygon plane. Let me hit E to rotate that and hold on J and flip it upright. Okay guys, well it's time for a little sponsor break here. And with that, I can make any of these videos for you guys. So show them some love, right? And you actually might love this one. So if you need 3D models for a lifelike visualization that you're working on, you might want to check out Render People. They offer 3D posed, 3D rigged, and even 3D animated people models, right? And they have over 3,000 products right now. They cover uh, models suitable for business, shopping, sports, swimwear, evening wear, outdoor, and even specialty models like doctors, workers, and whatnot, right? So uh, they're high resolution, 8K maps, clean UVs, clean meshes, ready to go in 3ds Max, Maya, Cinema 4D, SketchUp, Unreal Engine 4, Unity, Blender, and Rhino. Now, if you guys use the link below, you'll not only help out my channel at no extra cost to you, but you'll also get free models, totally free models that are posed, rigged, and animated. 
like so. Make sure we're at 90 degrees. Go back one, yep. We are going to hit R to scale this up so we kind of see what's going on. And what's important is to make sure that you have nice rectangles and that everything's covered. Now we're going to be putting our screen behind the wall, right? So we're going to hit four for wireframe mode so you can see whether everything's covered here. And I'm just going to hit R to scale it up a little bit. And as long as everything's covered, you're good, okay? All right. So now that we have that, uh, I'm going to take my wall here and in object mode, uh, there you go. And I'm going to hit H to hide that for now. So this is going to be your screen. Now, a couple of things we need to do. First of all, we have a selection of horizontal and vertical edges right here. Okay. So I'm going to right click, go to edge, and I'm going to drag select all of them. Now I want to kind of have Maya remember this selection for later. So I'm going to go up to uh, create, we're going to go to sets, we're going to go to quick select set. And let's call this wall vent selection. Okay, let's hit okay. Then we're going to go in and we're going to right click and go to face. And I'm going to drag select all of the faces. And I'm going to go in to, uh, where to go, edit mesh and uh, poke reason being that I want to have a diagonal selection going on and not a horizontal and vertical one. So with that selected, I now want to get rid of those uh, vertical and horizontal edges. And that's where that selection comes in, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, select, we're going to go to quick selection sets. Here is my wall vent selection that is now in place. So right now I can hit delete and get rid of that. And suddenly we have the selection of faces in a diagonal pattern. And that's exactly what I want. Okay. Now what I want to do next is to cut them out. So I'm going to right click, go to face. I'm going to direct click all of them. And I'm going to go uh, and hit control E to extrude. Now what's really important here, keep faces together, drag that to the left. So it says off, and then we're going to go and tweak the offset. So let's try 0 0.05 and have a look, which will give us something like this. All right. So let's have a look. That's about right. And then I'm going to go and I hit delete. So suddenly I have this guy. Now, if you want, you can give it some thickness so I can go in here, right? Hit uh, control E again, and we'll do 0 0.1 on the thickness. So you'll get some nice shadows when you go in there like so. And then we're going to go back to display, show and all. And we're going to put this, what's that? That's something from a previous session, no idea. So we're going to take this, we're going to hit W and we're going to move it back until it's perfectly where it should be, all right? So here is our decorative wall vent. And that's all there to it, guys. So I'm going to take this into Keyshot and put some nice uh, texture on it. But that's all there is to it. And you can use this technique for so, so many things. You can make a, the a grid a larger or smaller just by bringing it in and out and so forth. You can use tiles. You can do something very large like that. But we're going to leave it at this, right? So it's behind our screen. Uh, I'm going to put some nice texture on it in the key shots. You guys can check it out. And uh, please let me know in the comments uh, what you come up with using this technique. Okay, so what are you going to create with this? Well, that said, uh, thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye.